Hi, everyone. Today, I'm excited to announce a new update on Azure Database for MySQL. Previously, we had released our connector for Power Automate and Logic Apps. And today, I'm glad to announce that we also have the capability of the same connector supporting Power Apps. Power Apps is, if you're not familiar with it, it's a low-code, no-code uh, platform that allows you to build applications with ease. You really don't need to have a lot of technical knowledge to be able to build applications using it. You can build applications for your phone, for tablets, and various devices. You can have the ability of adding AI and really building workflows that automate a lot of your business processes, all the mundane tasks that you may have to do on a day-to-day -day basis, and really streamlining your process so you get time to do other things. To give you an understanding of what you can do and achieve with Power Apps and the connector that you have for Azure Database for MySQL, is a quick overview of how you go about it. You can obviously use it to build applications for various clients like mobile and web. Leverage the business logic through Power Apps, as well as you can use Power Automate and Power Flows, which previously was known as Flow. You can integrate the data from Azure Database from MySQL within your Power application. But in addition to that, you can build out various scenarios by being able to push, say, an announcement or a change that you happened in your data that needs to be announced on Twitter, or if it, an email needs to be sent out through your organization or connecting with Salesforce data to enable any other scenarios within your company. At a high level, what the connector does is it basically does a lot of the CRUD operations that you have for data. You can create, update, delete. You can easily connect it with any of the templates that are available in Power Apps. You can build out a Canvas app. You can also use a Dataverse app. So it's pretty easy to build out some of these applications from the existing templates. Because it's in preview, we do have a throttling limit of 200 API calls as we progress to our general availability of the connector. This will change. Let's go ahead and check out the demo for a simple application using Dataverse within Power Apps. So let's get started on building a simple Power Apps uh, application using a customer table, which has a list of all the customers using a particular product. It has all of the contact information. Think of it more like a CRM system. For this, what I'm going to do is instead of starting from a blank app, you can quickly and easily start with a Dataverse template. The Dataverse template, basically what it does is it has all the capabilities that allows you to connect with any data source and you can quickly create a three screen experience, whether it's for mobile or whether it's for a tablet or web. Now I already have a connection here, but let me quickly show you how to add a new connection. Uh, select Azure Database for MySQL. Now within Azure Database for MySQL, you can see that there is different fields that you need to provide information for. Make sure you provide the server name, the database name, username, as well as the password. If your database is using SSL, make sure you select and encrypt your connection. Let's click on create to actually create a connection. Now a new connection has been created for this. You can see there's different tables, customers, employees, office, orders, and so on. I'm going to select customers. Let's click on connect. Now this is basically building out multiple page views. One is to actually give you a list of all the customers. One is to actually be able to edit customer information. And the last is to delete customer information. A lot of this is automatically built out for you. So you don't have to even enter a single piece of code. So here you can see you have a list of all the customer names here. And you can see the formatting is not very good. So let's go and edit some of this information. When you select a row, you can see the fields. Let's edit the list of the fields that are here. The title is the one that's right on top. So let's change that from address to customer's full name. Then let's change the subtitle, which is the second one. Let's change that to the address. And the last part you can provide, say, a phone number. And that's it. You can see automatically it updated every row that's present out here within this page. Now you can see on the left hand side, you have a browse screen and you have a detail screen and you have an edit screen. So if you click on the detail screen, you can see this is the format for all the details within a particular customer. So if you select one of the row and you kind of expand on it, it gives you all the details about that customer. The edit screen is nothing but a simple form. The form basically provides all the current information and you can click and edit any one of these information. Let's try to run this and see it in action. Uh, you can see the list of the customers. 
listed out here, just as we saw in the previous, uh, in the edit mode within the studio uh, that allows you to build out your power application. Uh, let's click on this. You can see all of the details here. Let's click on edit. Now, say if I want to change the customer name, say I'm just adding a B here. You click on save. You can see that the particular name was already edited. So you have a full on working application quickly and easily built out with Dataverse within a few minutes. It didn't take me a lot of time. I didn't have to write a lot of code. I clicked a few things to edit some of the fields, format the structure, and that's about it. If you have requirements to build out more complicated scenarios, you can obviously feel free to customize this application, or you can also build an application from scratch. Thank you so much for watching the demo. You can quickly learn more about our connector through the documentation that's mentioned here. Reach out to us on the email address for any questions uh, or feedback that you may have about the connector or different scenarios that you want to kind of work towards with Power Apps. Stay tuned for any updates and announcements on our YouTube channel, Twitter, as well as LinkedIn. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to hearing more from you.